Welcome to D20 Tactics, the channel where I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. We explore common combat encounters and demonstrate the tactics that you want to use to defeat the monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I am your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and I'm joined by Longfish, Azure Wolf, Blind Oracle, and Fear No Equal, as we run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. Whether you are a new player trying to gain experience and level up your tactical acumen, a seasoned fighter looking to learn some new tricks to maintain your edge, or a dungeon master who wants to get the most challenge out of their monsters. Join us as we slice and dice our way through monsters and mayhem to evaluate the tactics that will decide who makes it onto the boss fight and who's going to be reaching for a fresh character sheet. In this series, the players are controlling the characters straight out of the starter set. Longfish has a dwarven cleric, Azure Wolf has an elven wizard, Blind Oracle has a halfling rogue, and Fear No Equal has a human fighter. At level 1, our brave adventurers are facing off against a warren of goblins. We'll have to face 6 encounters, all based on this theme before they get a long rest and level up to level 2. All the encounters use monsters straight out of the monster manual, with no modifications or adjustments, and the encounters are built with the challenge ratings from that book. I'll control the monsters and do my best to put as many adventurers into the ground as possible. We'll talk about the choices that we make, why they fit the character classes or monsters that we're using, and what mistakes we make along the way. With that out of the way, let's jump into combat. All right, you guys encounter a goblin warren. Got four goblins here, two that are currently equipped with bows, two that are currently equipped with scimitars and shields. They all have the same weapons, but the weapons that they're currently wielding are bows and scimitar and shield. Everyone go ahead and roll initiative. Anybody get above a 20? All right, anybody get between a 15 and a 20? I got a 15. We're a bunch of real fast ones. Goblins are going to go ahead of you guys. Who has between a 10 and a 15? I have a 10. So let's start off with the goblin. Goblins inside the cave. They don't like the look of you guys. They don't want to rush out. One in front is going to step forward and dodge. The one behind him is going to... Uh, they can take disengage and hide actions as a bonus action. So their best bet is to hide behind these rocks here. We're going to take a shot at... The guys in the back have cover with their AC. I guess we're going to take a shot at the... Fighter probably has the lowest AC at the front. Their stealth is a 16. Does a 16 beat your passive perception, Fighter? It does, 13. All right, so they are hidden for you. They have advantage on their attack rolls. Uh, they got a 19 plus, so that's going to connect. So you're going to take one arrow to the face. Take six points of piercing damage. Gotcha. Archer number two, all right, he doesn't have any spot to hide, so he's going to move to there. And then the other guy is going to, he's got some opportunities. He's got 30 feet of movement. Uh, he's going to go there. All right, after that is the cleric. I see that my friend has taken an arrow, so I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Do I roll that up? Five plus two plus cleric level. Plus spell level, five plus two plus spell level. That'll be eight. So that'll put me back up at maximum because I was at 6 of 12. I'm gonna move 20, 25 closer towards the uh, goblins. Okay, uh, there is difficult terrain on here. Red is dangerous terrain, yellow is difficult terrain, black is impassable terrain. I will go southeast one, and then one, two, three more. Do I have enough movement to get up there or no? One, two, three, four. Uh, you got one more square of movement. If I can still move up, I'll move up. Wizard. I will move to the side to kind of give myself a little bit of room to shoot and we'll fire a ray of frost. Is it 23? Please do that with disadvantage. This guy dodged. Sure. 24. <laughs> Even better. Sounds good. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. Roll of damage. Six on the die. No modifiers for frost. So six points to the goblin. On a slide back in. Slide back on him. Maintain that cover. What do you think? Is the fighter going to move? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you want to go somewhere else with your moving? Yeah. Behind the tree, sounds good. Quick question, what do you mean when you say dangerous terrain? Dangerous terrain, involuntary movement into it, you're going to take d6 damage. No, I've got a flanker, so we'll just go ahead and move up to the goblin. Perfect. Uh, and one attack. Dice plus five. Uh, at disadvantage, a nine misses. The offhand attack. Same attack modifier, it's a d4, no, no bonus damage for the offhand attack. Sure, we can see if this connects. 
Miss. Same number. Fighter. Uh, go ahead and move me up to the corner between the rogue and the cleric. And in fact, I'll push on ahead to two spots south past the cleric. And then we'll attack the guy with the shield, try and get him out from behind me. Rolling with disadvantage. That is a dirty 20. Sounds good. That'll definitely connect. Go ahead and roll damage. 12 damage total. Back to the goblins. Warrior number two. I'm going to go hunt that wizard. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go there. I can disengage and hide. So I'm going to roll up hide. Does a 19 beat your passive perception, wizard? Yeah. Okay, so then he is hidden from you. All right, archer number two. We're going to shoot the rogue. Right, let's get that shot. Six to hit. That's clearly a miss. Uh, archer number one is going to fall back. Still a line of sight. So I'll go for the clear shot, which is the cleric. Uh, Alright. Natural one. This is. Those are my archers. Such as they were. Cleric. I'm gonna move up and try to hit it with my uh, hammer. If I move behind him, will I trigger a uh, attack of opportunity or no? Nope. You're not leaving his threatened space. Alright, let's bonk this thing. Uh, I don't think five is gonna hit. Five is not gonna hit. Away from the danger zone? If I move one more space to the left. Uh, still within his threat range, so you do not need an attack of opportunity. Wizard, what do you got? Well, feeling like I'm kind of out here in no man's land. I'm yeah. going to put up some mage armor. Kind of move forward to kind of see where the group is and then kind of start moving towards them. Uh, Rogue. So I'm pretty slow, relatively speaking. Uh, I'm going to try and move up to pick up the archer in front of us and hope the fighter can get the archer in the back. Dice at plus five with short sword. Uh, does a 13 hit? 13 is exactly what you need. He does not have a shield. Uh, that's getting sneak, so 2d6 plus three. For nine. He drops. That was two squares of movement. Got three left and a bonus action. I have no reason to... Oh, I have a bonus action, but nothing I can... You can throw with your off -hand. And I assume I have no reason to suspect that we saw the other goblin loop around the back. I don't think you would have been able to see him, though. Cool. Uh, yeah, then I'll sneak up two more squares on the diagonal, standing next to the cleric. Uh, I got, Yeah, if I'm going to throw it, i got to go in front of the cleric. You can throw it from there, and then you have a movement to get into behind the cleric for cover. What's the range on a dagger? They're 20-60. Cool, we'll pop up and throw it then, see if I get anything out of this. I don't suppose a 10's going to hit. Ten is not back into cover behind the cleric. Fighter. Uh, go ahead and charge me up front there. Just uh, move into the diagonal of him. And we're just going to go ahead and take our swing. No advantage or disadvantage. Uh, natural 20. Sounds good. That'll hit. I was not expecting to need two d12s today. Uh, call that 14 damage. 14 damage, clearly enough. My turn with the warrior. He's going to go for his attack against you. Yep, he's going to get a 19 to hit you. That's going to hit uh, armor. And take four points of slashing damage from a scimitar wizard. It was here. One, two, three, four, five. And I can, so I... No, I was thinking to bonus action disengage, but I actually want to fight you at melee. You're, you're better at range than I am. Cleric. There's a... What is it in the back? I am going to back up. Go up one, then go... Up right one. Do I have a line of sight? Yeah, you got line of sight from there. It would be cover, but if you're doing what I think you're doing, it's not gonna matter. Uh, yeah, sacred flame. Sacred flame, it is. Okay. Uh, DC. Uh, thirteen. Uh, he succeeds on his save, uh, which I think means no damage. Do you want to move more? Yeah, I'll try to go back. Okay. Uh, you got three more squares. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll make I'll make space. Yeah. Make space. You got it. Wizard. What's he wearing? Uh, you can see on him leather armor carrying a shield. Yeah, let's try a shocking grass. That is a 15. 15 is what you need. Eight. Eight points of damage. That is lethal. Uh, and that drops the final warrior. One encounter down, five more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope that you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarah Sincero, and I will see you next time.